Hi, it's Martin, and welcome to another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. I am in a van. That's right. Today's video is the East Anglia Yarn Festival video. <laughs> Behind the scenes and all that jazz. It's International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day <laughs> to my favourite woman, Daya. Um, it is. It's half past ten. We've got the van. We've loaded the van. What have we forgotten? I know, but we're on our way, nearly. We said we wanted to be gone by 10.30, and it's 10.27. This never happens. No, I feel like we've forgotten. And we're actually 50 minutes early, because technically we need to leave by 10.45 if we want to get there in time. Our plan is to go to the hotel first before the other dyers and people arrive, and then we can go and check in early. That's our plan, behind the scenes. This is why you're here. Anyway, hope that you're... Okay, I'm going to hand over to Gemma now to do a time lapse, like I did last year, of the green. Because it's really pretty where she lives. It's really pretty where she lives. It is. It is. Right. Let's go.
Good morning. It is just after nine o'clock on Sunday and I've just arrived. It is empty. It's only nine o'clock, so it's uh, vendor arrive time. Show doesn't start till 10.30 though, so I've got here a bit earlier. Um, so I can do a bit of filming. Um, yeah, it's Gemma's stall. Do you want to look at Gemma's stall? Had a really good day yesterday. I don't know why I'm talking a bit quieter, because it's almost like the hall is so empty. I don't want to make a lot of noise. I don't know what that accent was. Um, look at this. One of Gemma's test knitters made this in her new fade. Not a promotion, but uh, one of Stephen's patterns, and I just love it. Uh, so yeah, Gemma saw. Oh, speak of the devil. Say good morning. Good morning. I did no filming yesterday. Oh. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. So I've come in. So as the vendors start to arrive, I'm gonna try and do a bit of filming to show you everything that's here. Um, it's such a great venue. I'll try and look how it's like an aircraft carrier full of yarn. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll take you on a bit of a journey in a minute. We'll go and have a look around. Lots of the stalls. Um, I might also try and do when people have opened because lots of people have got their stands covered up. I might try and do a time lapse up and down every row so you can just see how much is here. Yeah, but uh, it's been a fantastic show so far. Love chatting to people. Lots of people yesterday. Very busy, um, which was great. But today's going to be a quieter day, so I can do a bit of filming. That's my plan. It's getting busier now uh, with vendors. Still no customers. Oh. I've got my gimbal out, and I'm still not sure what I'm doing with it. I don't use it that often, and it's got a mind of its own. Uh, right, let's go and squish some yarn.
it is Sunday, two o'clock, and I'm now going. Look, I'm just going to say hi to Laura. We're going to the podcasters meetup, which basically means I get to sit down for an hour and do some knitting with a coffee. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Who are you? Where do you come from? Who am I? Where do I come from? Yeah. I am Maddie or Madison. Where's your camera? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to the camera. Um, yeah, Madison and I am the House of Langford. We have Hannah. We have Helen. <laughs> We're all here. We're going to sit in it and crochet. Yeah. We've got a stand. And my little logo. <laughs> right, spin your round. No, I'm filming. Smile! <laughs> and we're packing down. This is the bit of the entry you never really see. The other side. The carnage of pack down. Vlogger alert! <laughs> Go and watch Sophie's podcast for the other side of that film. <laughs> oh, I'm now home. I'm back in... I'm home. I'm in Gemma's. I'm in my temporary home. I've been here for five nights. Basically, he lives here now. I live here now. Oh, can you imagine living with all that yarn? Um, no, I'm missing Mark. I'm going to go home to Mark shortly. Uh, he's but missing you. He's probably not missing me, no. Um, Gemma's here. There's a hand. Um, so I just thought I would wrap this video up, share off my goodies, and then while I'm driving home, this can be uploaded into the YouTube. Um, and it takes like three or four hours to upload and render. So it can be doing that while I'm driving home. That's my plan. So, yeah, what a weekend. It feels like it's a completely different show, I think, to lots of other yarn shows that I've been to and Laura's really created something quite special I think that starts on Friday with the knit night where you just get to socialize with people who have a shared interest and knitters and crocheters and crafters and it's not about hanging out with the dyers which is always really cool to see lots of the dyers and then you get to see them on the Saturday and Sunday at the show but just with knitty friends um so yeah, it was lovely on Friday. You saw that footage right at the very beginning. A little tiny bit of footage. I was too busy socialising to take a lot of footage. I am sorry. <laughs> and then I didn't do hardly any filming at all on Saturday. Um, you saw a still shot, I think, or you will see a still shot of the podcasters meet up, which was lovely that we all got to meet together. And there was a few people from around the show that had their crafting projects with them that sat down and we crafted for an hour. That was really lovely. Um, and then, of course, I filmed um, more behind the scenes on Sunday. So, yeah, it's just been a thoroughly wonderful weekend and very heartwarming. But I have been away for a long time. I left work on Wednesday and drove to Gemma's. It is now Monday morning. <laughs> so I've been away a long time. So I need to go home soon and see my beloved. But time to show off some wares and things. So you've seen this in the video. This is my knitter t-shirt, uh, knitter hoodie from Stitcher's Tea. And I'll pop the details in the um, description box below. Um, but I've got a knit, I've got a knitter t-shirt and a crochet t-shirt and I've now got a knitter hoodie, uh, which was wonderful and keeps me warm. I don't think I'm gonna take this off all week. So I really love this. Um, Gemma's got one as well. What's on yours, Knitter? I have Knitter and Dye. Oh yeah, she has a Dye one in with black letters and then she's got a Knitter one in white letters. Um, so cosy. It, they are so super cosy. Um, I've got some gifts that someone gave me. Um, lovely lady that I met at the Knit Night called Kathleen, who is from Australia and was visiting the show here for a wedding um, and the timing was perfect to come to the show and Kathleen very kindly gifted me these amazing tea towels 
Um, for those of you that have watched for a while, you'll know that I met up with Melissa um, a few months ago. Melissa and her husband were visiting just before Christmas from Australia and they bought me some lovely gifts um, from knitting friends that I've never met down in Australia. And there was one video and I was struggling to identify a bird and I can't remember what I was calling it. But I was getting it wrong anyway. But Kathleen has very kindly gifted me these two awesome tea towels with names of animals on. So we have the wombat and we have the koala um, and a possum, etc. So we've got that one uh, in white and then got this one in uh, a navy. Australia, kangaroo and crocodile and another wombat. Yeah, so that was a really lovely gift. So thank you, Kathleen. I hope you had... A wonderful trip that was really great to have those um i've got an east anglia yarn fest goodie bag that laura um the lonely knitter and obviously laura you know host extraordinaire of the show very kindly gifted me um because i did the podcaster meetup and tried to corral people i didn't take a lot of corralling i it, it wasn't a lot of work for me to host um to sit down and chat to people um but of course i also did the test knit with laura's wool so she very kindly gifted me um a goodie bag so i thought i would unpack you can buy um at the show vip tickets um and then you get one of these goodie bags when you walk in so we've got the tote bag um got a lovely um pom-pom here from the crafty bird uh faux fur pom-pom these are handmade by robin um, I've got some stitch markers. I don't know who they're from. Gemma's back. I didn't see the goodie bag, that's why. Well, I've got them. So I've got some stitch markers. I've got a lovely little mini skein from Castleview Yarns, who you've seen in the video. That's really pretty. That's closer to the colour um, in real life. I've then got another skein of folk, which I'm really excited about. So I've already made my crochet cowl, so I'll probably do a knitted cowl now to go with that. So this is the Alton Broad colourway, and this is also a DK. So that'll be great to make something with that. And then someone called the Little Grey Girl. Anyone heard of that? She's probably rubbish. She's probably rubbish. Shut up! <laughs> uh, so I've then got an East Anglia Yarn Fest project tag. So that will go on my project oh can you throw my knitting when you come back in please where is it uh there i think is it did i bring it in no i didn't no we've already shown the cowl Woo! so i'm going to put that tag on my knitting so thank you so much laura for the very lovely gift of the stash bag so i have some yarn that i haven't bought which is good. Um, I do have some show purchases. <laughs> so I bought some wonderful cards from um, Tilly Flop, the lovely Julie. Um, I want to start doing a bit more handwriting and sending cards to people. And I thought I would start with getting some cards. So I've got this really cute little knitted, knitted stitch card in little rainbow colours. Um, I've also got one then in yellow background with the rainbow colours and then I've got crafting star and uh, the thing is finished <laughs> so I really loved those four on uh, Julie's stand so picked those up and then I did buy some yarn but it's not for me it's for me to use, but it's not for me to keep. So I feel like that's an okay purchase. Um, you would have seen in the clip, um, Helen and... Oh, Gemma, what's Helen's sister's name? Helen's sister? Is it a sister? On the wall kitchen? Sophie, but they're not sisters. Are they not sisters? No, they just look very similar. Oh, hi, not Sophie. Really. If you watch this, why did I think you two are sisters? They look very alike. And people get them confused and think Sophie is Helen. Oh, there we go. Right. Helen and Sophie from the Wool Kitchen, you would have seen the uh, the jumpers that were up on the back wall. Um, and they look so cute. And I feel like the little babies, again, they're always going to be my babies, but they're not babies. Noah and Thea, nephew one, niece three. They will be three this December. So I bought some yarn to make jumpers for them just because. Um, and 
I've always said like, I don't make hand knitted jumpers in hand dyed, I don't make knitted jumpers in hand dyed yarn for the babies because they're messy and my sister-in-laws don't need that. They can just like stick them in the washing machine. But I feel like when they're three, they can have some hand dyed. Um, so I got this zip yarn from Helen. Uh, so this is a, this is the gray uh, with the orange flex. Let me hold it that way because it's a bit better light. Um, so this is the ground control colorway. And then for Thea, this is the pink pop colorway. So the same yarn, but that neon zingy. So it's just a gray base with pinks at the top. And then Noah's is the slightly darker gray base. So I bought some skeins of that to go in my stash, but they baby jumpers. I haven't got a pattern yet. I'll just find a really basic bog standard jumper pattern, probably a tin can knits, um, flax sweater that will just show off the yarn. Um, and I'll make those at some point during the summer. There'll be small projects. I'm having tea delivered. You're having coffee delivered. Yeah, but we call it tea. As no, we, we don't. It's coffee. As we discovered. Funny, yeah, anic funny anecdote from the show. Um, Gemma said, I'm going to make some tea. And I said, oh, great. Can you make me one too? And then when I went to drink, I was like, you've made me tea. She went, you asked for tea. And I said, yeah, but Mark and I say tea. And when we say tea, we really mean coffee. I know it's weird. And there was a lady on the stall um, at the same time and said, well, she clearly doesn't watch your podcast because you've talked about that before, that when you say tea, you really mean coffee. And it's like, ah, Gemma's been busted. Did I ever say I had time for your podcast? How? Yeah, you've in real life. You've got me in real life. You yeah, you've got me on WhatsApp messages a million times a day. Uh, so I have tea. Which is really coffee. Um, but yeah, so I could bought that yarn to make them jumpers. They'll be like nice little summer projects. But also, a few years ago, at another yarn show, I want to say it's like four or five years ago, I bought myself a sweater quantity to make me a jumper in the same zip yarn. I think it's the orangey one, so more like Noah's, but with a blue base. So I feel like it may be time for me to dig that yarn out and make that, because wouldn't that be adorable on Christmas Day that me, Noah and Thea are all in matching outfits? Um, I do knit for the other two. I, I would knit for the other two. So niece one and niece two. Niece one is nearly 10. Niece two is nearly six. And the 10 year old is very, she's a Swifty now and she's a bit too cool for knitted items at the moment. Um, although she did ask for something in black the other, a couple of months ago. Can you make me a black jumper? <laughs> no. Yes, if I have to. Um, but the babies, I feel like the other two have had more items as they were growing up. So it's time to make the babies. Uh, jumpers so I bought that yarn to do that um and I think that's it the other thing that I've been working on then so update on my project so you saw I picked this bag up at Unravel uh this is one of Gemma's bags so the little pink rabbits um and the idea was um to take Gemma's pink fade which she is going to put on the website before I leave. So if any of you want pink fade yarn, there are a couple that would be available ready to ship, but the rest of them would be on pre-order. So if you want them, a bit of a marketing plug because a few of you got in touch after I showed this off after Unravel and wanted it and it was a show debut. It hadn't made it to the website yet. So Gemma's going to put these on the website. Um, so it's a pink fade and I'm doing for Mark the... Um, Stephen West uh, painted honeycomb socks. And this is how much I've done. So I did this over the weekend. Um, so it's a double thick cuff, uh, which basically took me all of, um, I cast it on on Friday, Thursday night. And then this took me pretty much all of Saturday. <laughs> Um, 64 rounds of just knit two, pull two, and then fold it over. Um, so that's what I was knitting on the stand on Saturday. And then I did this yesterday. Um, so I love the honeycomb shape. And instead of doing them in stripes, I'm going to fade them down from light to dark. So I have just bought in the second colour. You can see it just about. It's a little bit darker. Um, but of course, it's a fade. It's meant to be subtle. So, um... Yeah, I think I've got to do six repeats. So I've done three, just started the fourth. I think it's six repeats and then you do the heel. But 
it does look really small. Um, size two mil needles and the smallest size. It's quite stretchy. Take those needles out. It's very stretchy. So I'm hoping it is going to fit him. Um, I have gauge. I checked. <laughs> I know. I don't even know who I am anymore. Um, I've got gauge on it, so I'm very happy. So it should be fine. But if not, this will be a show sample for Gemma to show off her new fade. <laughs> Because I'm not undoing this cuff and doing it again. So I'll then make Mark the next size up, but it should be fine. So I'm going to stop these now and I'm going to go back to my blue socks from Nick of Cool Woolens. Just so I can finish that. I've done the gusset decreases. I've just got the foot to go. But I couldn't knit on that on Gemma's stand, of course. Hence why I needed to start a new project. So I'm hoping soon there will be a sock dance for me with my blue socks and a sock dance for Mark in his pink socks. Um... But yes, did some knitting as well as chatting and filming. And yeah, it was just a wonderful, wonderful show. Um, thank you to everyone that stopped by and said hi and had pictures. It's still a bit weird, but I love it. I get shy, um, but it's lovely chatting to people and seeing the other side of the camera. Um, there was a lovely lady that I met at Knit Night on the Friday night, Anya, who was over here. Um, visiting friends from Germany and um, perfect timing for her to come to the show. Uh, it was really lovely to chat to Anya. She gave me a tip on my sock knitting because at knit night we were both roughly about the same on our sock and by the Saturday I was still about this much and Anya was down to the heel and Anya's suggestion was instead of doing four double points to just do three because that's obviously one less stick, one less needle that you need to keep changing around. And oh my word, such a simple tip was so effective. And I definitely speeded up a little bit, but had a lovely chat with Anya on Sunday. Um, and yeah, it was a lovely conversation. And I'm so glad that I got to meet Anya and chat and we shared some stories and it was really, really lovely. So thank you very much. And this is the lovely bit of the podcast is sitting down and chatting and meeting people and sharing stories and making new connections. And it was really lovely. And I'm very grateful that I met Anya. So thank you for saying hello. Um, and I think that's it. You saw um, a little bit of footage and some snaps from the podcast to meet up. I have a list of names for YouTube channels, which I'm going to post below. I'm not going to read them out from memory because I will forget someone and I don't mean to forget someone so the names of all the podcasters who were at the show are below from both the Saturday and the Sunday please go out and check them out please go and show the same Knit365 support that you give me to those uh, wonderful podcasters maybe go meet some new creators and you will hopefully see some footage of theirs from the show as well I've already been tagged in a couple of posts, I think some people already have some videos live on their channel, which is super speedy. So please go and check them out. And it was wonderful to get to meet them. So this is a slightly longer ending than I was expecting. We're up to 17 minutes. Another slurp of tea. Anything else you want to say, please, Mrs. Dyer? No, she's lost. She's tired. I'm very tired as well. I have to make it home. I've got band tonight. I've got band competition on Sunday. This is the start of my crazy three weeks. I have a week of knitting when we've been away to the show. And I have a week of band coming up. I've only got tomorrow off band. And then I've got band Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, competition Sunday. And then the following week, I'm away all week with work, Monday to Thursday. It's going to be a lot. So hopefully I will be back next Monday with a bit of a sit down and a recap on I think where we've got to so far this year with knitting projects, because I've started a few things. I finished a few things as well. I'll also officially launch the official, unofficial, official Toft Dollar Long, where a few people have asked me if I'm going to be doing the um, Dollar Long that I did um, the last few marches. Absolutely, we will. I will launch that next Monday's podcast and we'll start then and run that through into the end of April so that we can all cheer each other along and get the latest doll club me or any doll really so i'll definitely be back on monday with a bit of a longer video i think to launch that share some progress will i get my blue sock finished will i get my pink sock finished who can say um so i think that is everything that i wanted to say i'm going to end this now get this all edited together before i leave Gemma's. so thank you so much 
for watching. The biggest and final thanks, I think, to Laura from The Lonely Knitter for a wonderful, wonderful show. What Laura's created is really special. It's really lovely, that whole community vibe. Starting on the Friday night with The Knit Night, an amazing venue that is totally accessible for everybody and quiet spaces and super lovely vendors. And yeah, if you can plan your diary for next year, I believe next year's show is the 15th and 16th of March. If that's the Friday, the Saturday, Sunday, it may be the 14th and 15th. It's that weekend. Um, if you can make it and you can plan it in your diary, get along to next year's East Anglia Yarn Festival. Um, it will be a wonderful weekend away. So I will be back next Monday. Hope you all have a lovely week. Hope you loved seeing lots of the exhibitors. I try to film different footage, not all the same indie dyers. Um, things I think you would all love that I also try to find non-wool related. So there's lots of crafty things that you've hopefully seen. So please go and show them some love as well. I'll be back next week. So have a good week. And until we speak again, happy crafting. Thank you.